I couldn't be happier with how that turned out. Let me tell you a little more about how I got there. Um, I had a bunch of different ideas during the prototyping phase. Uh, some of them were pretty far-fetched and probably out of my skill level. This one was really pushing the limits for sure. And I decided that I wanted it to involve LEDs because I got a box of them for Christmas. Thanks, Erica. And I wanted it to be something changeable. So my first idea was to have like uh, this sort of light bright thing, which would have LEDs, RGB LEDs all across it. And I'd be able to broadcast different super light grainy pixelized images of classic art to it. And you press a button and it would go like Van Gogh, uh, Monet, uh, other famous artists, whatever. Um, but then I realized it was basically just a uh, TV and we have those and they're way better <laughs> already. Uh, my next idea came to me when I found I had a bunch of plexiglass just sitting on my desk and I remembered the sort of thought about those old bar signs that have something etched into it and they light it from the bottom and it lights up. So why couldn't I have a bunch of them in a row? And um, originally I was going to have like one light that sort of moved between them, but that was going to be way too complicated and it made a lot more sense just to wire it up like this because I have the lights and everything like that. So what it is, um, these slides are interchangeable. I'm working on one right now that, uh, I'm a slow guy, he's a jumping astronaut. And each slide just has a different image etched into it in a five frame animated GIF. A uh, little power switch here. This is the program selector. So with like the wolf animation, it looks good in a cyclical fashion. Uh, hold this down. And now we have a reciprocating animation like the uh, bouncing ball animation. Um, I'll cut to that right now. And back. And that's it. It's just five banks of eight LEDs with a little uh, nano controller. Uh, I've got it hooked up to the USB right now, that's why the power switch doesn't work, but when I got it on battery power it does. And I can make just as many of these different slides as I want. It's uh, still obviously a little unfinished, I need to permanently fasten parts and get it all nice and painted. And some small issues that I do have, it's not like a super tight fit here so I have a little bit of light bleed, but I could fix that with uh, some sealant from underneath or maybe just like a little gasket since I do want this to stay removable. So maybe if it had a little rubber gasket underneath. So yeah, I'd like to, uh, rather than run it off the nine volt battery, I wanna have a permanent USB plug-in in the side where I can just connect it to a wall outlet, or if I ever come up with a better program, I can plug it into the computer and run it that way. And then also I don't have to have the bottom open, I can have that permanently sealed, which would be a nice feature. Potentially even one day make these uh, 3D printed and sell them on Etsy or something like that. I could expand it to have more frames um, bigger frames, just make it a little aesthetically nicer. But overall, I'm super happy. Not many things I would change on the version two, maybe color changing ability. Um, that means it's almost lunch. Okay, um, that's it. The hollow gif. Enjoy. Thanks.